Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to give you a presentation on Kutubdia, Semotang and Sangu gas field. Six people worked together to create this PowerPoint presentation. Here are the names of the team members. First let's discuss the difference between onshore and offshore drilling. Onshore drilling involves driving a drilling rig deep into the earth to reach fossil fuels while an offshore drilling rig drills underneath the seabed. This is the visual representation of Bangladesh gas block. This map shows us the locations of some of the gas fields in Bangladesh. Now, let's discuss Bangladesh's first offshore findings, Kutubdia gas field. Kutubdia gas field is the first offshore gas discovery in Bengal shelf in 1977. It is a miniature gas field with total gas reserves of 780 billion cubic feet. Depositional environments were found by the well log response and seismic facies analysis. Moreover, hydrocarbon bearing pay sands were deposited in a deltaic environment determined from well log coarsening upward response and high amplitude parallel reflections on seismic. The top of Bokabil is a significant erosional surface in this area which may correlate with the Messinian regression in the late Miocene times. The formation of anticlinal structures was in the late Miocene to early Pliocene evidenced by seismic data which shows thinning over the anticlinal structures during this time. Furthermore, hydrocarbon bearing pay sands within the middle Bokabil formation in the Kutubdia well show high gamma ray response due to the presence of radiogenic material. The high gamma ray and porosity of the hydrocarbon pay sands imply that reservoir sands are of poor quality. Now, let's pay our attention to the location and extent of Kutubdia gas field. The Kutubdia anticline is situated in an active structural setting. Located in the southeast part of the Bengal basin. The structure is a large culmination on a regional northwest trending anticline. It is well expressed at depth and is only slightly expressed in the shallow sedimentary rock sequence. Vertical closure on this structure is approximately 650 feet. Here you can see, simplified tectonic map of the geotectonic province 2 of the Bengal basin and its surroundings. However, the two uncertainties. Uncertainty in the offshore Bengal basin is due to the lower quality sand, arcosic sand, and their discontinuous nature which gives sub-economic reserves. Next, uncertainty of source rock potential. The source rock toke is interpreted to be low and placed in the deeper part of the basin. Moreover, the offshore field discovery well was first drilled to a total depth of 11,500 feet by Union Oil of California, UNOCAL, in 1978. The gas, together with small amounts of condensate, is from Upper Miocene Pliocene siltstone having 17% porosity and a 35% water saturation at the 8730 to 8760 feet interval. Well log analysis suggests the possibility of two additional gas sands at depths of 9573 to 9638 feet and at depths of 10457 to 10488 feet. Here, the left figure shows the overall stratigraphy of Kutubdia well and the right one is the schematic diagram to show the depositional environment of formations in different settings. This figure helps us in depositional environment interpretation of middle Bokabil formation, cyclical deltaic progradation. Next figure shows stratigraphic schematic model relating seismic facies to depositional environments interpreted in the well. Here, gamma ray histogram correlated to the standard cumulative GR histogram. The gamma ray histogram plot implies significant drops in cumulative frequency, where gamma ray values are 100 to 110 AP. Values are too high to show non-radiogenic sand in the log but the reality is those drops do indicate hydrocarbon sands in Kutubdia well which are likely radiogenic. Next, the log analysis shows hydrocarbon pay for shallow to deep resistivity separation compared to well report calculation. Estimated reserves are 12.6 BCM. Our next concern is generation and migration of hydrocarbons. During Pliocene time the Kutubdia structure began to trap hydrocarbons within the reservoir sands but only to a limited extent as most of hydrocarbons were trapped in large antic lines to the east. The structural style suggests a fill and spill effect which may limit hydrocarbons migrating into structures like Kutubdia in the west. This may explain lack of hydrocarbons in many good quality sands at Kutubdia. 
Vertical migration means hydrocarbon escape from deeper to shallower depth occurred due to the thrusting and faulting in the folded structures, and lateral migration took place during the late Miocene. This is the schematic diagram illustrating possible generation and migration pathways of hydrocarbon in Kutubdia area. During Pliocene time the Kutubdia structure began to trap hydrocarbons within the reservoir sands but only to a limited extent as most of hydrocarbons were trapped in large antic lines to the east. Let's know about the petroleum system of Kutubdia gas field. The main reservoir at middle Bokabil formation. The upper Bokabil channel deposit could be secondary reservoirs. Source rock is in the Bhuban formation which is interpreted to have fairly low toke, is not very mature and is grouped into type 3 source rock which is common for this area. Yet the petroleum system of Kutubdia and the surrounding area is still not well understood. Next, let's discuss about the only field in the Chittagong Hill Tract, Bangladesh which is, Semutang Gas Field. In Semutang Gas Field, drilling started in well number 1 in May 1967 and completed in May 1969, the well reached the lower Bhuban formation at the depth of 4068 meter. This is the first well that disclosed gas deposits in the middle of the Bokabil formation. It has an exceptional importance because it encountered the oldest horizons than any other wells drilled by OGDC in Bengal Basin. In 1979 to 1980, the Semutang area was subjected to a four-line seismic survey by Petro Bangla and a one-line survey in 1983 to 1984 by Shell Company. Five more wells were drilled after that out of which three of them were discarded or were dry. Cairn Energy covered a total of 207.3 km in Block 15 in 1996. Let's know about location and extent of Simutang gas field. In the eastern Chittagong fold belt of the Bengal Basin, the Semutang NWC elongated anticline structure occupied Ramgar and Manikchari in Khagrachari district and Fatikchari in the Chittagong district. Our next concern is Semutang structure. The Semutang structure is anticline, a four-way deep closure. The western flank steeper than the eastern one. The structure is flanked in the west and east by major reverse faults. The development of a series of reverse faults forming a pop-up flower structure. This table shows us the total reserve category of Semutang gas field. Now, let's know about petroleum system of Semutang gas field. Sandstones within the Surma group of Miocene, upper gas sands, are the main reservoirs. The Tipam and Dupi Tila sandstones have lost their potential due to the lack of available cap rocks. Miocene Bhuban shale is the probable source rock to generate gas in this region. From seismic study, it has been ensured that late Miocene to early Pliocene, upper marine shale is the vertical seal in this area. Semutang gas field has trending elongated anticlinal fold traps. The trap forming compressional history procured from Miocene to recent. Vertical migration of the earlier Miocene generated gas through flanking faults and lateral migration from Miocene to Basinal, Kitchen, areas are the major migrations. This figure shows us the gas sand correlation among wells in the Semutang structure. Finally, we are going to discuss the only abandoned offshore gas field of Bangladesh, which is Sangu gas field. Sangu gas field was discovered in 1996 in the Bay of Bengal 50 km away from the land, near Silimpur, Chittagong. Santos, an Australian multinational company, was in charge of operation of the gas field. Its production was closed in 2014. It is the only offshore gas field that is currently abandoned. Moreover, three neogene seismic stratigraphic megasequences were recognized at Sangu and are interpreted to have been deposited respectively in fluvial, delta front and shelf slope or marginal marine settings. Petrophysical analyses showed that the average total porosity of these reservoir units is more than 13%, the permeability is in general less than 10 MD, and the gas saturation ranges from 24 to 80%. Amplitude data have allowed the delineation of two other potential reservoir zones in the field at depths of 2,900 to 3,000 meters and 3,550 to 3,750 meters. Sangu Gas Field, located in the Hatia Trough in the east of the Bay of Bengal. Sangu Gas Field is mapping of the reservoirs shows that the structure at Sangu is an asymmetric antic line with seal trend. In 1998, Cairn Energy started producing that. Initially produced 50 million cubic feet per day gas. 
Later, it was increased up to 180 million cubic feet per day gas. In 2009, production dropped about 49 million cubic feet per day. In 2011, 18 million cubic feet per day dropped. At the end of 2013, 2 to 3 million cubic feet dropped. From 1998 to 2014, total production was 488 million cubic feet. Hatia Trough is the proven petroleum province that occupies much of the southern Bengal basin. Now the question is, why is the Sangu gas field located over Hatia Trough? Well, in general, fold intensity and structural complexity gradually increase toward the east. The presence of reverse faults with minor strike slip motion along the frontal thrust system in the outer wedge is also consistent with the regional transpressional structures of the Indo Burman subduction system. That is why, eastern part of the Hatia Trough is structurally active for the gas reservoir. This figure shows the seismic line in the Sangu area, showing mega sequences 1 to 3 together with interpreted erosional channels and canyons. Mega sequence boundaries are marked by dark blue lines, and channels and canyons by green lines. Where red reflections are positive impedance contrast, and blue reflections are negative impedance contrast. Our next concern is petroleum system of Sangu gas field. Here, source rock is Miocene Bhuban Shale. Reservoir rock are Miocene and Pliocene deltaic sandstones and deep water clastics. Two types of traps are found which are structural trap, stratigraphic traps. In this figure, lithology and gas zones are interpreted in the Sangu 1 well based on geophysical well logs. The names of the reservoir zones are marked beside the gas symbols. In next figure, lithology and gas zones interpreted in the Sangu 5 well based on geophysical well logs. The names of the reservoir zones are marked beside the gas symbols. Sangu Underground LNG Storage Plan is to store the imported LNG. The government of Bangladesh is planning to convert the offshore gas field into an underground storage, where 487.91 billion cubic feet of gas can be stored. Here is the summary table of our today's discussed gas fields. If this video seems helpful to you please like and subscribe Earth Detective and also visit our YouTube channel where we uploaded lot of videos based on Earth Science. We also organized the videos in playlists based on topics. Feel free to explore and suggest us what you want to learn from us. You can also check description for links of our social media, website for resources, PowerPoint file and further discussion. Thanks for watching.